Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. Indonesia really is a country like no other. With a population of around 270 million people, it is the fourth most populated nation on the planet, just behind the USA, India and China. Not only is its population huge, the nation itself takes up a huge amount of space. From its westernmost point to its easternmost point, it's over 500 kilometers in length. That's basically the length of Europe. However, that's not to imply that Indonesia is just one massive mass of land. In fact, the thing that makes Indonesia perhaps most interesting is its geography. Indonesia isn't connected to any continental mainland, but calling an island nation like the likes of Iceland or the UK doesn't do it justice either. Indonesia is a nation formed of islands and parts of islands across Southeast Asia. In fact, the nation is thought to be made out of just over 18,000 islands. Though despite this, it somehow isn't the nation with the most islands. Sweden takes that crown with just under 270,000 islands. Still, the nation with the fifth most island is no laughing matter. These 18 thousand islands vary from tiny rocks only visible at low tide, to secluded havens of natural beauty and animals found nowhere else on the planet, to islands of sprawling cities making themselves home to Indonesia's massive population. And while we won't be looking into all 18,000 plus island names I'm afraid, let's look into how the nation's most well-known islands and groups of islands got their names. The largest island to be included in Indonesia is the island of New Guinea, which is actually the second largest island on the planet. It. However, only the western half of the island is part of Indonesia, with the eastern half being the independent nation of Papua New Guinea. We have covered this island and its many names in the past. The Papua part seems to be the more Indonesian part of the name, as the Indonesian section of the island is split into two provinces simply called Papua and West Papua. There are a few ideas as to where the name Papua comes from. One idea is that it comes from a term meaning not united, in reference to the many ununited tribes on the island, while another idea is that comes from a Malay word meaning frizzy hair, in relation to the appearance of the natives. It was the natives appearance that inspired the name of New Guinea too, as when this island was visited by European settlers, the natives reminded them of the natives of the Guinea area of Africa. West of New Guinea are the Maluku Islands, also known as the Moluccas. There are thought to be around 1,000 of these islands under themselves, hence why we won't be looking into all their names. Though where does the name for this archipelago as a whole come from. One idea is that it comes from Malay too and means things like main slash chief islands, perhaps due to their central location. However, a more unique idea is that the name means head of a bull. Why however, I am not too sure. Maybe it's because the outline of this archipelago looks like a bull's head, which I can kind of see, I guess. When these islands were under European powers, however, they were known as the Spice Islands due to the exotic spices grown here and traded throughout the world. Spices like nutmeg and mace could only be produced here. The largest of the Maluku Islands is Halamahela. The name simply means motherland, which makes sense as it's the largest of these islands. However, it went by a completely different name too, that being Jilolo slash Gilolo slash Jailolo. Unfortunately, however, I wasn't able to find out what exactly this name means. If anyone knows, then let me know down in the comments. Another chain of tiny islands that make up part of Indonesia are the Riau Islands. These islands are tiny, with the largest of them, Bintam, having a land area of just over 1,000 square kilometers. Yet despite this, these islands as a whole are home to over 2 million of the Indonesian population. Some even think that the name for these islands come from this high population, with ideas that the name of Riau comes from words meaning things like loud slash noisy slash crowded due to all the people here. In the past these islands were the center of trade, so even way back then the islands would have been pretty busy it would seem. Another idea however is that it comes from Portuguese explorers in the land and their word for river, Rio. A much smaller collection of islands are simply called Bangka Bilitang Islands. Called this as it's compromised of two main islands called Bangta and Bilitang. Bangka is the large of the two and has a deep history of mining. Mining tin specifically. So it's only fitting that the name of this island comes from a Sanskrit word meaning tin. Bilitang seems to have a mineral based name too. A unique stone known as Batu Satam, which means bile of the sand, possibly due to its gallbladder like shape. It's also known as Black Meteorite. The Dutch called this mineral Billitonite, which was then applied to the island's name as a Billitung. 
Undoubtedly, however, the main area of Indonesia lies across the Sunda Islands. These islands hold a majority of Indonesia's population and tourist sites. In fact, some of these islands are home to more than just the nation of Indonesia. It seems that this name, which is also applied to other geographic features in this region, comes from the Sundanese people, an ethnic group for one of the islands in this chain. We don't seem to be sure where exactly this name comes from, but Wikipedia lists ideas such as it meaning things like good goodness or beautiful excellence. I also heard that Sunda is one of the 1000 names of Vishnu, so perhaps it relates to the god. Either way, I definitely want to look into these 1000 names of Vishnu one of these days. There are so many of the Sunda Islands that they are more commonly separated into two areas, the Greater and Lesser Sunda Islands. Let's start with some of these Lesser Sunda Islands, shall we? Start on the island of Bali. This island is the main tourist destination of Indonesia, known for its beaches, temples and nightlife. Perhaps it could be considered the Ibiza of the Eastern Hemisphere, though I'm not sure how well that analogy works on people outside of the UK. The name Bali itself seems to be rather ancient, with it being recorded on a pillar dating from around 900 AD. One idea I read is that it comes from the teachings of a man who journeyed across the island. His teachings were known as Bali, and this word came from the word Bibali, which means offering, which is somewhat fitting, as now the island of Bali has a lot to offer the tourists who come to visit it from around the world. East of Bali is the island of Lombok. This island seems to enjoy tourism too, but not to the extent of the neighbouring Bali. One source explains that the name comes from the Sasak language, meaning strait, though what's strait about it I'm not too sure, because this island is more or less a big circle. Perhaps the strait relates to the straightest part in the southwest, or maybe a strait of water between this island and its neighbours. Carrying on we have Sumbawa. This is a name I couldn't find out too much about I'm afraid. It seems it originally applied to just one half of the island, the half the native Semawa people lived in, so perhaps Sumbawa comes from Semawa. The name of the next lesser Sunda island, Flores, kind of sticks out, and that's because this island has maintained its name of European origins. This is a name of Portuguese root, and initially they called the island Cabo de Flores, which means Cape of Flowers, so by now the island's name simply means flowers. I guess this must be a rather pretty looking island then. And then we have Sumba too. This island is most likely named after the native Sumba people. These guys have been here for many years and seem to pride themselves on sticking to their ancient traditions despite the changing world around them. However where their name comes from I'm not too sure. The final lesser Sunda island I want to talk about is of interest as it's another case of Indonesia sharing an island with another nation, this being the island of Timor. The western part of this island belongs to Indonesia and is simply known as West Timor, while the eastern part of it is its own nation which is creatively called East Timor, also known as Timor Leste. As Timor Island is one of the easternmost islands of the Lesser Sundas and Sundas as a whole, it makes sense that the name would simply mean East, coming from the Malay Timor meaning East. So if Timor means East, then yes that means the nation of Timor East literally means East East. I mean it's very accurate I suppose. Names like this are more common than you might think. They are called tautological place names. Wikipedia has a whole list of them, but they can be a story for another time. On to the big hitters now, the Greater Sunda Islands, the first of these being Borneo. This island is actually home to three nations, the only island on the planet to do so in fact. A large part of it is Indonesian, a part of it is Malaysian, and the tiny country of Brunei also calls the island home too. While most of the world knows this island as Borneo, in Indonesia, the island, or at least the part they rule over, is known as Kalimanta. Long time viewers may remember we already have a video on this subject, so go check that out if you haven't already. But let's cover it here too. The name of Borneo is believed to come from a Portuguese corruption of Brunei, which was once used for much more of the island, before being the name of just the small nation on it. And this name is thought to simply mean a land slash region. Kalimanta on the other hand has several theories in regards to what the name means. The idea I like most is that the name means island with burning air, due to just how hot it gets there. 
Sulawesi is an island with an incredibly unique shape. It is the fourth largest island that makes up the nation and its third most populated. In the past, this island was given the name Celebes. This name was of Portuguese origins and may come from the term Os Celebres, meaning famous ones, in reference to its capes that were famously dangerous to navigate around. Though another idea is that it's simply a Portuguese corruption of that native name of Sulawesi that is used once again. So where does the native name come from? The general consensus is that the latter half of this name means iron, as iron was historically mined on the island. The former half is thought to either mean island, which gives it the fitting name of Iron Island, or spike slash horn, so the name may mean iron spike in relation to the iron weapons made here. Maybe the former part could mean spike and island. It could be the island of spiked iron, which is a pretty badass name for a place if I do say so myself. Sumatra Island is the biggest island in the nation that entirely belongs to Indonesia. There's no extra nations claiming land here it would seem. There's a couple ideas as to where the name for this island derives from. One is that it simply means Ocean Island, as it's an island in the ocean, which makes sense but isn't the most exciting. A much more exciting etymology is that the name means Gold Island. This makes Sumatra another mining related name, as once upon a time gold ran deeply through this island, so much so that it was named after it, though Gold Island does sound like the name of a James Bond villain hideout. And finally we have not only the most populated island of Indonesia, but the world's most populated island full stop, Java. This island contains the nation's capital and homes over 140 million people. Despite this achievement for the island, the name actually derives from more humble origins. It's believed to come from the Sanskrit Yavad Vipa and means island of Bali due to the crop growing there. The fact that this island is named after Bali and the fact that the island next to it is called Bali but is not named after the crop is just a coincidence I think. Though funnily enough, despite this name, the island of Java became more well known for growing something else. Coffee. Java coffee became so popular across the globe that Java simply became another name for coffee in general, regardless of whether it actually came from the island of Java. Just Java was suggested by Paul Ease, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as name explains patron saint of Java. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a name explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a name explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain, and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and get your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Hello all and thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at NameExplainYT. On Instagram, I'm also NameExplainYT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.